Hey girls, today I'm showing you an updated version of what's in my bag, but a travel edition. So this is very exciting, I can't wait for summer. Currently we have amazing weather in London, so I'm just really excited. And I literally just came back from holidays a few days ago, so I didn't unpack or like put away any of my stuff, so this is literally what I just brought with me on holiday. So let's get on into it. First I'll show you the bag, this is like probably more exciting than the actual products I bring but it's a really beautiful Victoria's Secret bag that I got for free so this is what it looks like, it's like a huge tote and yeah it's got these tassels here which I think just adds such a beautiful little touch to it, makes it a little different these velvet sides and because it hasn't got really a structure it fits into directly what you put into it so yeah you can pack like so many things in here and it will just hold everything and then it has the nice Victoria's Secret logo here and it doesn't close, that's the only annoying thing but again that means you can just quickly pack and remove items so what I do is I will pack a smaller handbag in there with all my essentials take that out for the actual flight and then put this in the storage locker above and yeah I got this free with like an $85 purchase so it's a pretty good deal because the bag itself would retail for $80 so it's yeah you're getting it for free and it's relatively good quality and now I will show you guys what I bring with me so I did just film my what's in my travel makeup bag so that is kind of what I would bring in my hand luggage sometimes so do go check that out if you haven't yet first thing I do have is a pair of sunglasses and this is one that I just literally had in Milan so this is the pair, I think they're so beautiful, so cute and I believe they are Dolce & Gabbana but I did actually receive these as a gift and I just love the applique detailing, the embellishments, very beautiful, perfect for a summer holiday, even though it's still spring. Um, I mean, I was in Milan, it was a very hot climate, so I thought no better place to wear these kind of really extra bougie kind of glasses. Next thing that is an absolute essential for me is a pack of gum. So this is the Mentos Pure Fresh uh, fresh mint sugar free gum, I don't know, but it's uh, it's actually Italian, but you can find this kind of thing anywhere and it's good to just have a really big pack like this where you can quickly get some gum to freshen up. Obviously you can't, I mean you could wash your, brush your teeth, but I prefer to just have gum when I'm actually traveling and flying and then when I arrive at the destination I'll brush my teeth, but always good to have that on hand. Then a pack of tissues which I don't have on me, but that is something else that I would always pack in my little um, clear bag, for example, one like this. I got it from Sephora, but you can get it at any drugstore, department store. Sometimes you'll even get it for free with a purchase. And if you really have a lot to pack, this is what I'd recommend getting from Primark or like Ulta or wherever you live in the world, just one of your local drugstores. They are very, very inexpensive, obviously, just a plastic pouch, but you have you can see everything you have, and usually through security at airports, this is good enough so long as you can see the products through it. And yeah, it's very big, so it will pack a lot. You can even pack your toothbrush, um, hairbrush, that sort of thing. It really does fit a lot. And then I will show you guys all the products I would have on me. They would all be under 100ml just so that I could travel with them in hand luggage, unless you have checked baggage when that means you can literally pack anything you want. So what I would bring with... So this, these are the products that I did actually bring with me to Italy. First is the VO5 Smoothly Does It Heat Protect Serum and this is supposed to give like a bit of a like nourishing effect to the hair and it says it's for brilliant shine and illuminating and it's only 50ml and it's just a quick little pump product, you could even use it on the go but I just like to apply this into wet hair and obviously we, it's like a two-in-one after you wash your hair. If it's drying out in hotter climates, then you can just apply it to the ends. And if you're also styling your hair or drying it, it's like a two-in-one to protect your hair. So speaking of hair products, I also have a shampoo and conditioner I bought at the airport. But if you do have any sample sizes or clear uh, plastic bottles at home, I would recommend filling those up with the products. The ones that I picked up were the Aussie Miracle Moist collection, so it's a shampoo and conditioner. I did only use it once because I was only there for four days, but um, yeah, these are always good to have on hand and it adds a bit of moisture to something that would just make sure my hair's not super dry and frizzy on holiday. Also I have a little hair tie, this is something that you can just easily put on your wrist when you're travelling. Tie your hair up in the flight because it's super annoying to have like long hair going everywhere when you're trying to sleep or watch a movie or something. But this is one that doesn't damage the hair, so if you wear it for a long time, it shouldn't add any kinks to the hair. And of course, it's just super light and easy to put on your wrist. 
then I don't actually have any more hair products apart from a comb which obviously uh, I'm very low maintenance when I'm traveling I try to really minimize what I bring so instead of a really bulky hairbrush I'll just throw a comb in there and then comb through the ends when I need to something that's in my absolute essential especially when you're traveling for a long time and being in public places where people could be ill coughing and all that sort of thing you just want to keep your hands clean so I have the Bath and Body Works stress relief hand gel and this is in eucalyptus and spearmint so yeah it's just a normal hand sanitizer but it's a very relaxing scent Oh, smells amazing. Smells like an oil that you'd get in a spa or like when you walk into a really expensive place. That's what the scent reminds me of. So it's very relaxing. I just like scented hand gel. Then I have a body lotion and this is something that when you're on holiday, if you shower in the morning or you just want something to keep you keep your body moisturized, I'd recommend just buying an SPF. Um, they're obviously very thick and moisturizing and it's like a two-in-one so you don't need to put lotion on and then later top it up with more SPF lotion because you're just going to really block up the skin, it's going to feel really oily and thick and this is like two-in-one. So it says it's long-lasting moisturization, water resistant and very light and absorbs very quickly. So I got SPF 30 and although it is a little thick, um, I think any SPF is never going to feel extremely light. It is quite light, like throughout the day it didn't feel oily or greasy to the touch. So I think it did eventually absorb into my skin, but you do want to let it dry. And yeah, I didn't bring a moisturizer with me, saved space in my hand luggage and just had this for a hand cream throughout the day and also on my body when I was wearing a t-shirt, just on my arms, that sort of thing. So yeah, saved me a lot of space and I don't like feeling greasy, so yeah, pretty low maintenance. Then I do have a hand cream that I used in flight. Um, it's only 30 mil. it's one of those little tubes and this is from Primark, it's called Too Shy and yeah, I really love it, it smells good but just because it's a tube that really that just applies really easily, you don't need to like dig your fingers into it because I don't like when you have like tubs of moisturizer because then you just have to like I don't know, I feel like, I, it might sound super weird but I just don't like digging my fingers into the cream, I'd rather just like put on a little bit um, that might sound really crazy but yeah, I'm very specific about the products I use. And yeah, that will fit into any bag, honestly. Then I have a lip balm, again, another essential I can't leave without. I do not like having really dry skin. I don't like when the air conditioning or the cabin pressure or anything like that. And the air in the ca in the flight, the air in the plane cabin just dries everything out. It just feels gross. So I need something to moisturize throughout the day. And this one is the Jelly Belly Cotton Candy Lip Balm. Got it in Primark, but Smells amazing, smells really sweet, it's very moisturizing, not thick, but keeps my lips moisturized for a few hours. So I just top up with this every so often. And then last but not least, this product that I have is a uh, perfume. So it's actually almost done, but it's a Eau de Parfum spray in grapefruit and tangerine. It's only 10 mil, as you can see, it's absolutely tiny. So I really recommend packing a rollerball or a miniature spray like this. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but basically the refills for perfume, something like that. Because even if you have like a 30, 50 ml perfume, if you have a suitcase, fair enough, you can probably pack it, it'll be fine, but why not just bring smaller sizes to save space? You don't want anything super heavy or bulky in your hand luggage. So yeah, I'll just spray now. Mmm, just smells very sweet and light, so perfect for a spring and summer trip. And yeah, easy to pack and just reapply, you know, throughout the flight if things are starting to get a little too hot and kind of groggy then you can just freshen up with this so yeah that is everything I have to show you guys of course I would also bring my headphones my phone Where do I have my phone I have my phone right here so it's got a nice little um, case on it and then a protective cover on the top too and then of course my camera which I'm filming on right now so I can't show that to you it's of course all my electronics and for my wallet, one last thing, I would really recommend getting something very small, like a little pouch, a purse. Um, not, I wouldn't recommend bringing your big bulky wallet. Just take out the cards and vouchers, anything like that that you think you may need at the airport or in the destination you're going to. So your converted currency, never ever do that at the airport because it's not a good exchange rate. But this one is very, very thin and light. I just pack all the notes in here. So I've got my euros here that I was using. I've got some English money as well, because you never know. And then in here, I just had my card, my debit card, and then my Boots Point card to buy these products at the airport, the sample sizes. 
And yeah, that's all I have to show you guys. So I think I gave you some pretty good tips for saving space because I've learned a lot throughout the past few trips where I've literally just had hand luggage because I didn't want to pay for the um, baggage. It just takes too much time to wait for it. And when it's like a three day city break, I feel like you really can just get away with one hand mug. So one last thing I would recommend, even if you have short hair or you feel like you don't want to tie up your hair, just always, always bring a hair tie. Your friend might need one, your mum might need one, the air hostess might need one. You never know what's going on. So just bring it on your wrist or pack it in your bag. Just always good to have on handy. And as us girls, I feel like we're always losing them. So even though I pack this one in my products bag, I had the other one on my actual wrist. And I think I did use it during the flight, so it did come in handy. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed all of these tips, if you want more travel videos, and I will see you next time. Bye!